Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, May 21st, 2013. I'm astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, I'm sure you felt a big shift in energy yesterday. The sun coming into Gemini, the moon coming into Libra. They were following each other in this nice trine. This energy that slipped in while we had a big Pluto Uranus square, which is still affecting us, especially today. And it's actually been affecting us in the background for a while now, and it will for the next two more years. But this is interesting because we are dealing with the new understanding of life. Where is our mind coming in between spirit? Are we able to find that harmony in our life? What's coming in between? Are we afraid to find harmony by accessing a new innovative way to find courage, to step into the new self? This is finding new ways to step over your problems. Really, on a more basic level, this is finding where you're obsessed in an area and it's getting in between the innovation, that you need to leave some of your obsessions behind and it being a certain way. Look deep into your chart and deep into whatever sign you are because there is a place that you're, you're thinking that it needs to be a certain way, that there has to be all this obsessive energy and it's like, no, step forward in a new direction, try something new. Step forward into some courage a little bit. And if you step forward into that courage, you are going to get through it. Especially though, our minds are going crazy. We're in Gemini now. Welcome to the party in Gemini. Now we've got Mercury and Venus which are coming into their tight conjunction, which is this really clear understanding of, well, more about relationships, communicating to people, being able to express yourself to people I think will get you through this. The other thing is it's squaring Chiron. So you're going to also make sure, well, try and make sure at least to find a way to heal yourself by going with the flow to make sure that you're not blocking spirit mentally. This also has to do with relationship energy as well, making sure that you know, you communicate to people, but it's not the only way to access the healing of yourself. Not to just rely on, oh my God, I need to talk to this person to let it all out. There's actually a lot of work you can do in your own mind, in your own self, in your own access of courage. This is teaching you to kind of go a little bit on your own here and deal with things and find ways in yourself of how to do it. You can get great answers and great facts from people, but they're not going to be the ones that do the help for you. I hope that makes sense there. Now, Saturn and Neptune. Saturn and Neptune in this nice trine right now. Saturn and Scorpio, which has been, you know, anchored in our shit. There is this deep, dark energy we're all unveiling in ourselves that we're trying to pull out and pull up. And it's also making sure that we're tapping into spirit and how it's funny that whenever Saturn and Neptune meet up, you got a Capricorn and a Pisces hanging out in good ways. It's actually okay to escape a little bit as we're dealing. I mean, I'm going to be honest. The universe doesn't make us all screw. It doesn't screw with us in ways where it's like it's not going to make it so hard where there's not at least some, uh, there's always a place out. You wouldn't be alive watching this if there wasn't always a way out of your problem or situation. And spirituality is an, as a, is an option out. Having a cold one is, is an option out and it's okay. I'm here to, yes, that might sound crazy. I am a spiritual guru teacher, but I'm here to tell you if you need to have a beer, it's okay. There is this access to spirit that's very deep and spirit is there with an exit route to higher consciousness or even if you just want to escape the reality of the dark stuff, it's okay to kind of escape a little bit. I'm not telling you to go do a bunch of drugs or whatever, but I'm telling you that however you want to escape the situation, you know, don't get too carried away. Remember Saturn is there and dealing with the truth and dealing with uncovering things. So. It's like, use it wisely. Use your escape wisely right now. You know, dreams are here to come true, I'd say, is the more spiritual level of all this. But I want to be honest with you that we are dealing with a mind that's crazy. We are dealing with blocking the access to our soul on the best level. And we are dealing with deep, dark stuff in ourselves. And we are dealing with, you know, having to find courage in ways we never had to find before and leaving old obsessions behind. So I think it's interesting that you, the universe offers us a little escape out. It's okay to have a cocktail or whatever if you need to at the end of your day or whatever to get you through. It's okay to communicate to people and express yourself and, and you know what? Relationships, there's this nice energy building. But don't place all your spiritual energy in a relationship as if it's going to save the day. The relationship will save the day. That's the last thing it'll do. It'll offer you great insight. It'll offer you amazing things. It's what you have to find inside 
in yourself and heal through your own is where the energy really is at. So I hope this is all making sense. The moon in Libra today as it's making squares everything is going to test you. The way to access the harmony is to go in a direction you haven't been before, to leave behind old obsessions in certain ways that you need to do things, but by accessing a new excitement of what you've learned through your relationships, of how you can access a beautiful life through understanding what it is that you are building in your life by being excited in what you're building, being excited on what you value, being excited of your worth inside and starting to find all the details and the facts of how worth it you are and why you are building this new life and why you have to in the mind start to instead of blocking spirit out, bring spirit in and the facts are right in front of you that it's time for you to understand that you have the greatest life ever and it's time for you to understand it's time to move into a new self. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading with me and astro coaching, all at inclusiveastrology.com. And thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you tomorrow.